A man stumbles in the middle of the night into an empty church. As he makes his way to the front, the darkness taunts him and the silence mocks him. He falls to his knees and begins to cry, Oh dear God of mine! Is there such a crime that you cannot forgive a sinner for? He waits and waits and waits. Yet nothing happens, so he pushes. Oh dear God of mine! How is the life living above the death and destruction of our kind? He waits and waits and waits, yet nothing but the deafening silence responds. The man gets up and yells, Oh dear God of mine! Haven't I tried to give you everything, everything that's mine? He waits and waits and waits. Yet the only noise comes from the old floor that moans under the weight of his words, and suddenly he snaps. As the corners of his vision turn red, he pulls out a gun and says, Oh dear God of mine, will you stand by and watch me die, or face me for what you've taken? He did not wait this time, for the wind howled and the trees danced, and for a moment the whole church shook, yet God did not appear. And so with a tear, the man put the gun to his head and slowly said, Oh dear God of mine, how dare you take what is mine, I'll meet you in hell for what you did. Bang! The sun rose, a world awoke. The priest arrived to the church, a new day, a new page. But when the priest let the light seep in, he found the cold, limp body of the man. The cops say he was a drunk who got lost and thought to give death a shot. But the walls and halls know that the man just needed some love. Love that the world did not give him, love that the Lord did not believe in. But the candles and handles know that the man now rests six feet under with the wife and son he thought he'd never be with again. What can break a man in two? What can bend a man's mind beyond repair? What can make a man go insane? Loss is the cord that strikes deep within a person's heart. It's a thing that divides strength and fragility in life's grand duality. For lo those who learn to move on free themselves from the shackles of sorrow, but those who remain drown in a sea of misery and pain.